juices with vinegar. This is the step-by-step -step guide of joining the underdog metaverse community. Folks, in 10 minutes, I will have you in the metaverse. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step of how to join my new underdog metaverse community. It's going to take a little action from you, and I'm going to walk you through it. Now, folks, why would you want to join the metaverse community? Well, I don't want to put research on the World Wide Web for everyone. I want those who take action, who participate in their own wealth building by leveraging their knowledge and collaboration to benefit first before others because you did the work. That's what I'm building as communities of winners who can use collaboration and research to put themselves in a position to win. In order to do that, I need you to be a part of my group. So click on the link in the description of this video. First, go to my Telegram. There you can find other people like yourself who want to be a part of their own wealth building by leveraging their knowledge and collaboration. Then watch this video, 10 minutes folks, from beginning to end, you will be registered and able to connect to the Underdog Metaverse community. And then it gets started folks. I'll be able to give you exclusive NFTs, exclusive access to research that I've conducted that my community is doing, and you will be first to know everything. Don't go with content creators who just tell you what you want to hear go with a researcher who tells you what you need to know to help you blow up your bank accounts i hope that you enjoy technology and i hope that you enjoy the value you can get by building community and that's what i'm gonna do click on a link in the description join my telegram watch my 10 minute video let's get started learn how to join the underdog metaverse community all right quick and easy steps to get you a metamask account so you can get into the underdog metaverse channel and be a part of the community so first go to the browser choice let's choose google type in metamask and then type in install and once you click that you'll see at the very top download metamask click on that icon now here, you'll have three options. You have Chrome, iOS, and Android. You want to put this on your computer or laptop, then I would say go ahead and put install MetaMask for Chrome. That's easy to do. Now, once you click on that, you're going to have this extension. You want this MetaMask extension to be in your browser. This is a browser-based wallet. Go ahead and press add to Chrome. It's going to say this. It can read and change all your data and on websites, display notification and modify data if you copy and paste. If you're good with that for this browser extension, press add extension. At the very top, this browser extension. Now, just so you know, click on this little puzzle piece and you can pin it by pressing pin and that ensures that you can see this box. Now, once you do that, that is pinned to this browser. So that's gonna make it easy for you to access. If you go further, press I agree, and you're gonna create a new wallet. It's gonna give you some information that you can read and press I agree if you agree with it. And then you type in your password. And once you type a password, press I understand. It will give you some information that you should read about uh, securing your wallet. Remember, this MetaMask account, currently right now, if you don't have MetaMask, it doesn't have anything on it. But you can collect NFTs, you can trade and swap virtual currencies using this MetaMask account. It does a lot of functions. So this is talking about your recovery wallet. If you lose it, you'll need these particular passphrases. This is very important. So you press secure my wallet. I won't share this with you but you can reveal your secret recovery phrases, which is a 12 word secret recovery phrase. You have your secret recovery phrase. You'll press next. And then you will type in to confirm your secret recovery phrase. And once you confirm your secret recovery phrase, you'll be good to go. Then press confirm. Then it will give you a prompt that says your wallet was created. You press got it. Then it will state 
Your MetaMask install is complete. You press next and then you'll press done. And now you have successfully completed your MetaMask install. Go to the next step. You have added the icon to your browser and set up your MetaMask by just following the prompts. Then you can get started with going to Voxels. You want to go to Voxels where the metaverse is, go to voxels.com. And then you'll go to login. And you've already set up your MetaMask account. And once it asks you to log in, you'll press login. It's going to prompt you here to connect to your MetaMask account. And that will allow you to have Voxels connected to your MetaMask account. Once that is connected, you will be registered with MetaMask with Voxels. And I'm going to walk you through the next steps for setting up the registration with Voxels. So let's recap what you've done so far. You went Voxels.com. Then you went to the left-hand side. You press login. That's step two. Then step three, you press login to continue and select MetaMask. There's also other options such as Rainbow and Brave Wallet, but we're going to use MetaMask for this example. When you click the MetaMask button, you will see this pop up on your screen. It's going to ask you if you want to connect with your MetaMask account. Go to the bottom, click next. Now it's step two of two. It's going to connect to the account. You can name the account how you want to. For right now, mine is named account number one. That doesn't really matter. You can name that later. And then you press the bottom connect. You're going to see it saying connect. Now, it's going to prompt you to sign your transaction. So the MetaMask account is a decentralized wallet. And you have to press sign in order for it to connect. So you are in control of your wallet. You press sign. Now, as you can see, you have connected and you have registered your MetaMask account to the Voxels Metaverse. So now you are registered with your Metaverse account. Congratulations. This is your avatar. You can switch this to dance, run. These are little things that your avatar can do. Let's find the Underdog Metaverse community. So on your left-hand browser, press Underdog then metaverse and then press enter and only want to come up here's the underdog metaverse community you can also put in the metaverses meta dash versus which is another one of my uh, metaverse spaces the third i you can find indigo saint the sanctuary that's another one of my spaces. Let's go to the underdog metaverse. Press enter. Now that you're here, click on the underdog metaverse community. This is a view of the underdog metaverse community. This is one of the places that we'll go often to see content. Here's my avatar that you can see here, which will list some of my metaverse lands that I own. Simply click on the play button here. Once you click on the play button, you can see your avatar. Use your mouse to walk in. If you go downstairs, here's the third eye space. As I showed you in my previous video, look around and you can go upstairs. And once you go upstairs, here is where the underdog community for the metaverse will meet. You can go around the sides, the transporter. So let's go ahead and transport, press OK. And now we're right back where we started. So why don't you go ahead and try this out, log in. Don't forget, you can click on any of the videos by double clicking with your mouse or with your finger if you have your phone and that way you can watch the videos catch up on popular videos about different conversations here and if you go upstairs 
this will be my most recent videos that I will put upstairs. So let's get started and you can be a part of the Underdog Metaverse community now that you have registered. I want to show you something that's really interesting about being in the Underdog Metaverse community in Voxels that is very unique. Now, I want you to go at some point to this particular metaverse space I have called the Sanctuary, and you can put in S-A-I-N-T dash U-A-R-Y, and you'll see it here. Now, once you click on that, I want you to see something. Now, click on the Sanctuary, and I want you to notice this. Do you see this? This is the Sanctuary, and I want you to notice that you can't enter the Sanctuary. It's covered in this large purple box. Let me show you. Now, what this is, is a gated NFT space. I have enabled gating. And the only way to enter into this space is that you hold an NFT specifically that I have set to give you access to this space. This is going to allow us to have exclusive access to research, concerts, videos, and collaboration that if you don't hold an NFT that, that I have selected, then you don't get access. I think this is one of the powers of being in the Web 3.0. Just look at this. No matter where you go, if you don't own or hold that NFT in one of your metaverse wallets that you have, like MetaMask or Brave or any other wallet that you have attached to Voxels, you can't enter the space. I can enable this for any and every metaverse space I have. That gives us an opportunity as a community to have value and to have different levels of access to topics, conversations, and participate in their own wealth building. This is the power of Web 3.0 to integrate and utilize this type of technology. Thank you for watching. You are now part of the Underdog Metaverse community, and I'm so happy that you joined. I will see you in the metaverse, and let's get in this position to win, and let's win big. See you there, folks. Juices were gaming.